everyone. Welcome to Virtuous Vineyards. My name is Rebecca. This is Nancy. Today we're talking about um, a saint named Maria Goretti. We're talking about purity and chastity. And I want to go ahead and tell the parents out there, there's some sensitive material in this episode. So if you feel like you need to view it before showing your girls, please do so. Um, and then if you feel like it's appropriate for their age, please feel free to share it with them. Okay, Nancy, well today we're gonna to be talking about Maria Goretti. Um, this is a picture of her here behind me. She um, has a very heroic story and I'm gonna give you a quick version of it. Um, I had read this book, She's got there's a book out about her, it's called In Garments All Red. And as I tell you the story, you're gonna understand why it says that. So Maria Goretti um, was raised in a household where her father passed away when she was at the age of nine. Because of that, her mother and her younger siblings had to um, live off the land and they needed some help financially with um, paying for you know their home and their supplies. At that time, um, this was in Italy in the um, very late 1800s, early 1900s they decided to have more or less a roommate. And um, this roommate was a gentleman who had lost his wife and his son, Aless Alessandro. Um, Alessandro was 18 years old and both of them worked in the field um, along with Maria Goretti's mother. Maria Goretti was 12 years old at the time that this story took place. What would happen is during the day, her mother would be in the field um, working all day long. Alessandro would be in the field with his father working and she would stay in, the, in her house. She would um, clean, she would take care of her um, siblings that were younger than her. She would sew, do things of that nature. Well, over a period of time, Alessandro decided he was attracted to Maria Goretti he made um, inappropriate gestures to her. He said inappropriate things. And he had told her, if you ever tell anyone, I will kill you and I will kill your mother. Um, so Maria Goretti was scared for her life. Now, time went on and the advances became more and more and more. And Maria Goretti, at 12 years old was um, very close to God. She knew that her purity, her chastity, and her virginity was something very valuable and it was not something she was just gonna give up. So one day when um, she was taking care of her younger siblings, Alessandro decided to come in to the house. Initially, he went to his bedroom. He started calling for Maria Goretti. She ignored him like she had ignored all the other advances he had made. Well, this made him very angry this time. So he went to the kitchen where she was. He shut the door and he began to um, physically push himself on her and began to try to rape her. During that time, she fought him off. She was like, no, this is not what God wants. This is a sin. If you do this, you're going to go to hell. This is a sin. Don't do this. Well, this made him so angry. He took a type of file that was almost like, like a knife, but a file, and he began to stab her. He stabbed her numerous times. He left. She began crying for help. Her mother couldn't hear her. Nobody could hear her at that time. Alessandro heard her crying for help, came back and stabbed her several more times, trying to kill her. He left again. Her baby sibling began to cry. Alessandro's father heard the baby cry and thought, what was wrong? Let me go see what's going on. When he found Maria Goretti, she was in a pool of her own blood. He went and got her mother. They called for help. They called the police at the time. Maria Goretti was conscious enough to tell the police 
who had done this to her and why. Everybody in the, na the neighbors, everybody in the connecting farms, they were ready to hang Alessandro. They were ready to, you know, kill him themselves. The police took him. Maria Goretti went through this torture and she did it all to protect her purity. She, um, some stories say that she um, passed away a day or so later. The story in the book that I showed you, I believe they had gone down a country road in some type of buggy with horses. Now you can imagine a bumpy ride. Here's the poor girl has been stabbed to death. I believe it was 14 times in total. They took her to the hospital. They couldn't put her to sleep because of so much loss of blood. They had to try to sew her openings up. And so she went through all this pain and all this torture and all to protect purity and virginity. She later died and um, many years later became a saint in the Catholic Church and she is the patron saint of rape victims and young girls. And the reason I'm telling you this story is because she was born in 1890 and I believe died in 1902. And I know to you that sounds like forever ago, but my grandparents were born around that same time frame. So it wasn't so, so long ago. And when you think about society where on TV shows, in movies, through social media. Girls are so willing to put inappropriate pictures out. You know, they're bragging about their sexual experiences. They're losing their virginity at such young ages just because they think that's the norm. My point with this story is it is a very sacred thing and Maria Goretti knew that. Um, so we're going to talk to you today about the importance of protecting your purity and chastity. Now, the very first thing with that that I think is good with, with Maria Goretti is number one, when Alessandro threatened her, if anybody threatens you, I don't care how bad the threat is, if they said they're going to kill you, if they're going to kill your family, or if they just say, you know, you're going to regret it and leave it vaguely. If anybody does that to you, no matter what, please go tell an adult because people who threaten you People who threaten young girls are cowards and they need to be confronted. So please, if anybody is threatening you to do something inappropriate, you know, whether it's family members or, or a stranger, somebody who crosses the line like that is not always a stranger. It can be family. It can be who you think is a family friend. Please, please, please tell an adult. And also too, as you get older, Boys are going to, as they like you, they're going to make advances toward you. And one thing you've got to learn is refusal skills. Don't get yourself in a situation where if a guy that you like starts making advances to you, you don't know what to say and you feel pressured into doing something you would normally do. Now, think about things you would say. Think about, no, I'm waiting till marriage. No, um this isn't right this goes against you know morally what i think is wrong you know what i think is right it's morally wrong go ahead and think about those things you're going to say because you know if you're put in that situation you need to know how to respond just like any other situation if there was a tornado coming we do tornado drills at school right we need to know how to prepare ourselves and how to act if we're confronted with that Nancy, anything to say? So going back to the story with Maria Goretti, uh, she also prepared. Um, to, she prepared herself for it to make that difficult decision. Um, and what she felt God was wanting her to do was to protect herself and to keep her purity. Um, and the way that she prepared herself was um, she actually for several years um, went through um, catechism classes um, in order to learn her faith and learn um, about her self-worth and what God wanted her to do. So when she was faced with that difficult situation, um, all of that preparation that she did when she was younger, she was able to 
actually take it into um, action. She was actually able to know at that point in time what she needed to do um, ultimately and that was to um, to keep her purity. Exactly and you know and not everybody's called to die for their faith and what they believe in. Um, that was just something that was put on her heart. Obviously, we always want to protect ourselves and keep from ever getting into that situation. Um, and with her, there's more to the story right before she died that goes into another virtue of forgiveness, which we're going to cover in another show. What we're trying to get across here is how valuable purity is. So often we, um, we don't think enough of ourselves that we just give something like that away, but Maria, at the young age of 12, saw the value and the gift that God gave her and, um, and did everything she could to protect it. Which leads us to another thing, chastity. So Nancy, tell us about chastity and what that means for us. Chastity is a virtue and it's basically saying yes to authentic real love. Something that I uh, found um, on a website describes chastity um, very well and I'd like to read this to you all. Um, it has, um, love is not just a happy feeling um, or something that comes and goes. Uh, your love is not proved by having physical interactions with someone. Um, what love really is, is a deep desire to do what is good for one another. Um, it involves sacrifice. Um, so think of the love that Christ has for you um, and, what, and, and how that love led him um, to the cross and um, led him to sacrifice his life for all of us. So when you think about this and you think about that love that Christ um, had for us and that huge sacrifice that he made for us, um, think about that with all of your relationships and what that really means. You know, this person that you might have a crush on or that you might um, be in a relationship with, you know, is this person um, really going to give their life um, up? For you, are they go willing to also make that huge sacrifice um, in order to love you? Um, and in in a way to to look at that and to see that just on an everyday um, situation or example would be if um, let's say that you're in a relationship with with a guy um, and um, that guy is willing to sacrifice their needs and their wants for you. So if that person really truly does love you, they would sacrifice um, any of their physical um, temptations or their physical needs in order for you to remain pure. So ultimately with chastity, um, and we've brought this up several times, um, it's knowing your true, what your true worth is, um, what your true value is, and realizing what true love really means. And it's sacrificing your needs for the needs of your loved ones. That's great, that sounds wonderful. Okay, so purity is something that we make decisions every single day, little tiny decisions every single day. It's about what we wear. It's about what we watch on television. It's about the music that we listen to. Making the right choices every single day um, for the benefit of your purity. Um, also too, you know, it's about protecting your friends from that. You know, if you see that your friend is, um, maybe going down down the wrong road you know with with a boy maybe say to her hey do you know what's going on you know do you realize what's at stake here and just talk to her about that and that's what a true friend is and again in society now it's very sexualized it's all about you know um the hookup culture we hear about that all the time but um as you know in the previous episodes the sexting that's happening with our 10 to 12 year olds so it would be a good idea to get a mentor someone who's a little bit older another girl that holds those values with you somebody to look up to somebody to look to for guidance no matter what your age 
um, what your situation, you need somebody to help you along that path. And don't feel like you're bothering these older girls. These older girls will be flattered for you to say, hey, I'm running into the situation, I'm having a hard time, you know, what can you help me with? What advice can you give me? They'll be more than flattered to give that to you. Um, go to your go to your mother, go to your sister, you know, they will be so proud of you for holding on to something so valuable. Um, and with that said, if you or another girl that you know has gone down that wrong path, know there's forgiveness for that. You can start over. Don't feel like that's the end and there's nothing that you can do about it. Start fresh. Start today. Start protecting that and just move forward. And that's what we all do with any mistakes mm -hmm. that we make. So I hope this show is beneficial to you. Um, if you think someone else would benefit from it, please share, please like, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Have a good day.